Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. If you want to buy that phone recently launched, giant TV that can cover up your wall, laptop with best configuration and so on and don't have the funds, well then you might have come across zero EMI loan. Let me tell you, in reality, there is no such thing as zero cost EMI. In this video, I am going to share the ugly truth about zero cost EMI. At the end of this video, you would have a clarity on how does this marketing gimmick works, how interest is charged and what are the hidden charges. In the end, I would also share my loan statement with detailed terms and conditions outlining all the hidden charges. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Let's start. First, how does this marketing gimmick work? Let's understand with an example. Suppose a company launches a TV worth 60,000 and sell it to dealers offline or through online aggregators like Amazon Flipkart for 50,000 rupees. Now, as a dealer or online aggregator, considering the price, many people may not be able to afford it. So sales would be lower and company will not be able to generate higher profit by selling more quantity. So they plan to arrange the funding of purchase via loans to support consumer and increase their sales. That's when the role of bank or lenders come in. Like dealers, bank are also looking for ways to increase their business, but they are not interested in increasing the revenue without increasing the profit. So they charge interest on the product that is financed by them. But dealer, on the other hand, would lose the business if bank charge a higher rate of interest. Hence, dealer or aggregator would give a discount to the customer equivalent to the interest charged by the bank on the loan. So effectively, for the customer, said loan would be at a zero interest. Now, going with our example, suppose a customer buys TV from Amazon for 60,000 with six monthly EMIs of 10,000 each, then, then Amazon would give a discount equivalent to the interest charged by the bank. The same can be calculated by reverse calculating the interest. In this scenario, assuming an interest rate of 15% per annum or 1.25% per month, loan amount would come to 57,460. You can use my application Loan EMI Calculator to calculate the same. I'll put the link in the description for quick navigation. Let me share with you a live example. Go to Amazon's website and pick any product. If you see, the price of this phone is 16,499. First option is to pay the full amount at one go or the zero cost EMI. Let's explore the EMI option available to us. If we go to the first option that is Amazon Pay ICICI credit card, there are two EMI options, 5,500 and 2,750 rupees. In the case of 5,500 rupees EMI, the term would be 3 months and the interest charged by the bank is 351 and a discount equivalent to the interest is given by Amazon. Same way, 2,750 EMI, term is 6 months, interest is 653 and the discount equivalent to interest that is 653 is given by the Amazon. As a consumer, we are not concerned about back-end deal or agreement as in either case, we would be paying the same amount that is 60,000 at one go or 10,000 per month for six months, right? No, there are several hidden charges which are not explained at the outset, rendering the purchase inexpensive. As they say, there is no free lunch. Let's understand the hidden charges. Swipe charge. If you are buying from offline dealers, they would have to swipe the credit card to give the zero cost offer. And the POS machines come with a swipe charge, which can be as high as 2%. So the purchase of 60,000, the swipe charge would come to rupees 1200, 1200. More often than not, the dealer collect the swipe charge in cash from customer, which adds up to the cost of buying. However, most of the online aggregators do not levy such charges from the customer. Processing fees. A processing fee is levied by the bank to process the loan. It would vary depending on the lender product, 
price of the product and so on. Generally, it's around 200 rupees plus GST. Civil charges. Some lenders also charge a fee under the name of civil charge. It's around 300 plus GST. GST on interest. Wait, GST on interest? But we are not paying any interest. It's a zero cost EMI loan. Well, as I exp explained earlier, for 60,000 product, loan is processed for 57,450 and the interest of 2,550 would be charged on that loan, which is generally given as a discount. And 18 percentage would be levied on the interest. So around 460 rupees GST would be charged. Bounce charge, late charge fees or credit cards interest. All zero cost EMI loans are available on a credit card and depending on credit card, the dishonor of payment would result in levy of charges like bounce, bounce charge, late fee charges and even interest would be charged which could be as high as 3.5 percentage per month. Prepayment charges. After availing the loan, if you feel to close the loan post understanding the charges, then repayment ch then prepayment charges would be levied, which could be as high as 5% plus GST. So if we consider that all EMI are serviced on time without any prepayment and retailer has not collected the swipe charges, still we would end up paying 1050 rupees on 60,000 worth of product. So 1.75% higher than the one shot payment of 60,000. As promised at the beginning of the video, allow me to share the terms and condition of my 60,000 TV loan. To maintain privacy, I have blacked out the areas containing my personal information. As you would see, the loan amount is 57,450 against the purchase of 60,000. Interest is levied at 1.25% per month. Processing fee is 199, 199. It's almost 200 plus GST and prepayment or pre closer charge is 3 percentage plus GST. Now, let, now let's check out terms and condition of this loan. If you check the highlighted portion, it states that failure to pay on time. That is, if you don't pay the credit card dues on time, charges and interest would be levied as well as GST would be levied on interest amount of EMI on monthly basis, on processing fees and pre-closure charges. Now let me share the amortization table. It is of 6 month EMI breakup for of principal and interest. If we put that in an Excel and charge 18 percentage on the total interest amount, we can calculate the effective amount that is 60,252.77 plus 504.49 that is 60,757.26. So effectively, one would end up paying more than a one go payment option. However, we can't deny the fact that it gives the consumer the comfort to buy the product or satisfy the need without paying the full amount. So next time, before opting for zero cost EMI, consider additional charges that you would end up paying. I guess that's it for this video. I hope you found this video enlightening. If you want me to cover any other topic or has any question or doubts in this topic, feel free to mention in the comments below and I would respond the same at the earliest opportunity. Do share this video with your family and friends who you think should watch this. Further, can I request you to please like and comment on this video as it would help YouTube's algorithm to rank this video to reach wider audience. Even a simple comment as high would do the job. Thank you guys for watching this. Bye.